Hey guys, what's up? It's Charles Float here and welcome back to the channel and I am literally just going to jump straight into this video because I am not a local SEO expert but I want to give you the exact strategy on how you can use Parasite SEO pages to dominate local SEO queries for your clients, for your own companies, for lead generation, for rank and rent and for all sorts of additional business and SEO practices. Now, most people do not understand how Parasite SEO can be used for local SEO. I even get some of the biggest influencers in the world asking me this question. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do is find one of the gigantic sites that is routinely ranking in your city or in your niche and go in and put it into a tool like Ahrefs. I like Ahrefs because it allows you to do what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna click on the organic keywords here, go to positions, put in maximum 50 on the positions. I'm gonna to go to SERP features. I'm gonna then click not on SERP. It's very, very important that you click not on SERP. Then I'm gonna click the local pack. That means that when you are looking in the top few positions for a SERP, either the local map pack isn't coming up straight away or it's coming up under, uh, you know, number three, number five, number two, something along those lines, which is absolutely perfect for what we're going to do with Parasite SEO. I'm going to then click apply. Then I'm going to click more filters, keywords, and then I'm going to click, I'm going to put my city in. For this specific example, I'm going to go with Dallas. I'm going to click another rule, and then I'm going to go with best. And bear in mind, you can be very creative with the types and variations of keywords that you use in this methodology. But I'm just going to go with best here because it's the default that everybody can use. I'm then going to click apply and then I'm going to go show results. And that's going to narrow our results down from 22 million keywords to 441 different keywords. And straight away, there are multiple absolutely fantastic keywords that we can go through here and look at like best nails, Dallas, best carpet cleaners, Dallas, all sorts of things. But the main thing that I want to do is go and sort by volume because that's going to give me the biggest keywords straight away to target so that I can really take over and generate some traffic and generate ROI with my Parasite SEO campaigns locally. Okay, now that we have a few different queries that we can go and put into Google, I want to go and manually look them up and see if they're actually worth our while to be able to rank for. And the very first one that we put in is Best Nails Dallas. And I can see straight away that this EMD domain and the GMP on the right means that this company has essentially taken this keyword as their entity and repurposed the entire SERP just to be about their company. So I don't think that this keyword is going to be a great fit for us because I don't think that we're going to be able to very easily realign the intent of this SERP away from this EMD and this brand. However, something that is very interesting is when you put in best carpet cleaners Dallas is that Angie's List, which is another site, which is a fantastic way to get keywords within Ahrefs for your SERPs and keyword research and different sites and clients. This specific SERP comes up with the sponsored listings, but it doesn't have any map packs in the entire of the first page. A lot of SERPs are going to come up with these sponsored listings, but bear in mind that depending on the mobile device, depending on if they're using ad blockers and depending on all sorts of different things, this might not show. And a lot of users don't like looking at the sponsored ads anyway. And I know that this can be pretty difficult to know if it's sponsored or not, especially if you're dealing with kind of the older generation and audience. However, it's still a fantastic and a way to generate traffic. And I guarantee you, even if you do have these three sponsored map packs here, that you will be able to generate clicks and traffic to your listing. So I would still target this keyword. I would just not expect you to be able to get the full amount of the search volume that you have in Ahrefs. The next keyword is best builders in Dallas. And again, this comes up with a three listing map pack in the sponsored type. However, it comes up with dmagazine.com, which is another parasite that we could actually be using, but this is their directory specifically. And you can actually buy guest posts on dmagazine.com. So we don't really want to be using a you're going into a SERP where we already see another Parasite ranking. However, we could potentially use this SERP because 
builders, construction, anything really in that niche is absolutely massive. And single leads can be worth tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. So the specific lead itself could be worth hundreds or thousands of dollars to the right client. So I would target this specific keyword, but I would use some some variations of different uh, pages and I would likely look for some additional keywords, not just trying to target this individual one. And we would try and get a parasite or parasites, ideally, that are higher DR than the current D Magazine listing that's already ranking here. Then we have Best New Restaurants Dallas, which is absolutely interesting that this is even ranking here. We see Reddit already ranking. We see a number of other interesting sites ranking here. But again, if you have got clients, if you've got customers, if you've got your own businesses and you are dealing with the restaurant or hospitality industry, ranking number one for the hottest new restaurants in Dallas could mean the difference between packing out that restaurant on Tuesday night or not, according to Gordon Ramsay, right? Best movers in Dallas, this is the final keyword that we're going to be looking at, and this is absolutely an, a keyword that I probably wouldn't be targeting, just because, number one, you've got the sponsored map pack, number two, you have Forbes already ranking here, which means any specific parasites that we're going to be building for this keyword, we don't we uh, will have to be trying to build on a bigger DR or a higher DR or a higher authority than Forbes. And that is a very difficult thing to do. So I do not recommend that you go straight into this up. The one benefit is that Wildcat Movers is here, but this site does seem to have a fair amount of authority. So we would want to do some additional research and see if there's other variations of the keyword that are also coming up with the map packs in third. And if that means that they are, then it could be a keyword that we want to target. But again, just because Forbes is ranking there, it likely means that we're going to have to have parasites that are significantly higher DR and there just aren't that many that are higher DR than Forbes, right? Okay, so now that we have some keywords we can target, usually what you would do is put them into Google, do loads of manual analysis, compare them to the sites in your database, reach out to the sites and see which sites are best fitting for your specific keywords. However, that takes hours and hours of research, time, effort, and it generally wastes that time and money. What I'm going to recommend, and I'm going to be slightly biased here, is that you go to ParasiteSEO.com. And yes, this is currently in beta, and I'm going to explain what the beta is going to change into in a little second. However, you're going to put your keyword straight into the tool. And the main thing that you're going to do here is you can go into your city and you can actually change it to your local city. So I can go ahead and put in Dallas, Texas. And it's going to come up with Dallas, Texas here. I can click it and we can actually analyze the keyword, even get even more localization for that query. However, what I'm going to do straight away with this query here is I'm going to go over to the current parasites that it has. And it says we have three par uh, seven free parasites ranking and three paid ones already in the SERP. And we can see straight away, like I said, number one, a partial match for a paid parasite. It's a partial match because it's not the normal DM Magazine sponsored articles. It's the directory subdomain. So it's not a full match for the for the actual parasite. However, what is going to change is the actual categorization system over here on the right hand side. So currently, the way this works is that it's going to categorize it with Texas as the primary category, and then the secondary categories are going to be architecture and construction, real estate, and home and garden. So it's going to categorize all of the parasites in our database, and it's going to say which are the most, uh, which are the most authoritative, free, and paid parasites depending on your plan. Currently, I am using the Monster Plan over here in here which is $189 a month currently with the beta. And that gets you access to 10 paid parasite opportunities per SERP and 20 free parasite opportunities. Now, what will change after beta is the categorization system. So this is going to change and be even more refined. So instead of it saying Texas local, it will go all the way down to Dallas. And it will potentially even have more categorization around construction and all the other things as well. So you get even better and even more refined results. But currently, you can still use this to get absolutely insane results for both free and paid parasites. So I highly, highly recommend you go and use this exact formula, test out building a few parasites, and start taking over some local SERPs like you never knew you were able to do before. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.